So how did I manage to film this commercial out in the airport in a time span of only 8 hours, managing 20 football players, a film crew, staff and still creating a unique and fresh style for FCN's new logo? Planning. A lot of planning. Two months before the launch of the new logo, Seb called me and said that we had to do a new and cool lookbook showcasing the kit and the new style. We already did one last year. But this year, we had to step up our game. I then wrote all my ideas down, created a mood board, called the guys from Blunt Media, and we were ready to go. And for a normal guy like me, I was used to do run and gun all by myself. So doing this production where I had to instruct that many people was a really huge deal for me. And this has probably been one of the biggest commercials that I have directed so far. So let me try to explain how long it took me and the team from start to finish to make this video. We had to visit the DHL hangar three times and planning how and when we could film with the head of security. Not one, not two, but three times we had to go out there shooting pictures on my phone, trying to create the mood board that I wanted to show to the rest of the staff. After that, I started to create a mood board with different angles, different commercial and different types of shots that I wanted to do in our video. So for example, I got a lot of inspiration from a lookbook that I've seen Blonde Media do before. There was a Nike commercial with Neymar. And then I had to look for some music as, as well that was gonna be in the same style that we wanted. So I put all of that together into one document. Then I wrote down exactly what I wanted to do in terms of angles, lights and what players that was going to be presented in which scenes. Adding time codes of what to shoot in which area of the hangar on the day that we were going to film. Assigning all the players into two different teams as they had to play one final match together. And the shot list was finished. <sighs> <sighs> If you add it up with all the people that were on the set, damn. I think in total, 30 to 40 people we were there, like, it was so many. So here's how the day went. I woke up at 5 a.m. with Seb, drove all the way out to the airport, set everything up at 8 a.m., waited for the players to come. The film crew arrived and we were ready to start. There was just one thing, is that DHL is one of the biggest hangars in Denmark and Co coordinating us running around. They have to have four different security guards that was making sure that we wouldn't cross any lines because then we could get hit by trucks. And it was just, it was not optimal at all, but that was what we needed because the location was so cool. Getting cutting time, Blood Media and FCN handled this very well. Before that, we had to film until seven, but then we got cut in time. We didn't know what to do, so we had to reschedule, so they didn't play the football as I wanted them to. So we cut that out and then we made something else, and I think actually it turned out really, really well. While we were filming all of these different scenes, there was a still photographer that was taking photos of the new kit of the players. So whenever we were done with one scene, he was moving in with his crew and his camera and lights and everything. Then the players had to stand there. We were moving on to the next scene and then he was shooting photos for the lookbook that the guys were gonna use for the promotion and stuff like that. You could really see that the players haven't done this before because it was kind of a fashion shoot and they were standing like, uh, uh, let's go. Uh, one of them, he was going like this. And you can just see that they were having a lot of fun and that just made my day. It was, it was hectic, but it was so much fun and we never gave up. <sighs> Fresh. Over the next month, Oliver from Blonde did all of the editing with doing different cuts, cut downs, color grading, effects, everything. And I was at the Blonde office for around like, I think three times. 
So uh, we were sending mails back and forth saying what it is to do on what different time codes. One time I sent another change of him to edit this and this and that and it was a lot of back and forth that you don't see when you see the pro final product and we managed to to get it finished just before the launch of the video and to wrap it up when the video was out it was sent in the intern network of dhl globally which means 400,000 people this video was being shared to it's amazing media to FCN and to everyone that was out with me on this day to help out with this project from start to finish it has been a journey a difficult one but I think that's the most important thing to remember here right because whenever finishing something you're always getting onto a new project a new new project new 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 so it's about learning to enjoy the creative process get the done and then start on the new one but learn from the past so as you can see, I'm sitting in the new renovated space of FCN here at Ride to Dream Park. And basically, this is gonna be the middle point of the Creators Club. What is the Creators Club about? Basically, we wanted to give you the opportunity that I got. We're gonna launch different challenges curated by different creators for you to express, develop, and showcase your work through the platform of FCN Oceanland. If you like the work that I've been doing with FCN on their platform, you can click the link in the, in the description and then you can sign up for the Creators Club challenges. They're gonna be, as I said, one every month. It's gonna be a lot of fun and we're gonna challenge you in all creative aspects. I'm looking so much forward to be a part of this and I think we can create something unique. And the best part about this is that when the whole season of the FCN team is done, we're gonna have a big tournament here on the pitch actually where you can be able to participate. Go and watch the video on FCN's channel and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe on the channel. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Jones out. Whoa!